Hello guys and welcome to this new video of Xamarin Farms. Today I'm gonna show you how to use Carousel View. So the Carousel View is um, a view for presenting data in scrollable layout where users can swipe to move through collection of items. For that, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification. So here I have already um, created the project. Let's move to the main uh, XAML page and inside it we're gonna create a grid with two um, rows inside it we're gonna define um, a carousel view in which uh, we need to bind the item source to a list of images here so item source will be equal to the binding of images list and with um, a margin of 10. Now you're going to define the item template of this uh, carousel view. So like in list view, we need the data template in which we're going to define some stylish uh, image with the border here. So we're going to use a frame with margin and padding equal to 5 and has a shadow equal to true. Now we're going to define the image here that will be binded to the current item of a list. So we need to write only binding and the aspect it will be equal to aspect field. Let's move to the main page view model. So here we're gonna define, before that, we're gonna need to uh, maybe to define the title here, change the title to carousel view. And after that, we're gonna define um, the images list. So it will be enumerable of string and it's define the get to the private images list and the set it will be set property of uh, the image and uh, value now we're gonna override um, the initialize uh, method here in which we're gonna initialize our image list and it will be a stub here so we're gonna use some uh, url for um, image on internet let's run the application here and see here we go yeah cool so here we have our carousel view so like in the html we need to define uh, some indicator of uh, images here so you're gonna use something called image indicator view um, we're gonna give a name here that will be used after that in the carousel view so let's call it indicator view and you have the possibility to define the indicator core in our example let's um, make it a light gray and uh, the selected indicator color it will be black and finally let's put this indicator view on the center of our row so it will be horizontal options equal to center Finally, we need to uh, bind this indicator view with the item, the current item of the carousel view. So here we need to define the attribute indicator view. It's equal to the name of our indicator. Let's run and see. Uh, here we go. Cool. So you have the carousel view with indicator like in the HTML. You can swipe right and left. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.